Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, ETOS, and by Gentex. We're at Intrepid Controls. We're talking with Colt Korea right now. Colt, great to see you again as always. Yes. What you guys got here? What's the hot thing for you at CES? Hot thing, what we're excited about is a wireless Neovi and our Neovi Connect product, which is a embedded data logger IP67 rating. And uh, what we've done is, is we've taken an EV here, driven it all the way from Detroit to LA while collecting data all the way uh, the, the whole trip. And so we're trying to showcase the reliability and capabilities of uh, collecting all types of vehicle data, vehicle networks, doesn't matter what you're using, automotive, Ethernet, CAN, LIN, uh, FlexRay, we support everything as well as uh, all the diagnostic protocols that exist, uh, ISO 14229, some IP, and uh, doing the data collection, uploading the data, uh, so that people can see what's happening in real time. DTC uh, fault code happens, we can notify people, and uh, here we can, uh, all types of analytics of, of, of data. Uh, for example, we had one program, we're, we're in partnership with, with Myra, which is in the UK, a part of Hariba, and uh, they're using our system to collect data for their uh, automatic calibration and digital twin uh, system, and so we're the, the part of the system collecting the data, real-time data, so they can correlate that with their uh, with their uh, you know, simulation and, and analysis. And it's been a great partnership. We've got a lot of customers interested in in, in using the system. Uh, we can do all types of the, uh, analytics. Another program that we did in the UK was for an electric EV manufacturer to showcase the uh, fuel savings that you could sell on a delivery truck, uh, for example. Uh, some fleet was a diesel delivery truck, standard uh, in, internal combustion engine. Another fleet was the uh, battery equivalent. And uh, we could calculate the uh, fuel savings and uh, even tax savings while also monitoring you know, drivers. Uh, you know, in this case, it's paid drivers. So we monitored how drivers did well and, and which ones were more efficient, less efficient to train drivers even. Uh, so all types of analytics like that to see, you know, is diesel better, is electric better, how to train drivers better. Uh, lots of interesting ways that you can use uh, data from our system. And so that's what we're doing. Let's go, let's go back to some of that data collection, especially capturing faults. Because, you know, yeah. I don't need to tell you, you know, as the industry goes to software-defined vehicles, as they go to centralized zonal computing, and I mean, the complexity yeah. is just oh, exploding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for you guys to be able to capture faults as they happen has got right. to be pretty important. Yeah, that's right. So so basically, yeah, that's one of the, that is the main thing you got to start with. If you, if you, if you have a high-end data logger like what we have for engineers, and the very first thing is, is that if there's some kind of fault code that happens, not only fault code that's detected by the electronic systems, but also faults that happen at the lower level that's not necessarily detected by the vehicle system. We can collect, we can detect faults with our data logger that cannot be detected with the vehicle system because it's, it's too expensive to do that in production, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, things like, uh, auto, in automotive Ethernet, we can detect uh, runt frames, short frames, long frames, bad frames, and with standard hardware that's used in production, the response to any bad things that happen with an Ethernet frame, like it or not, is just to drop the frame. And so you really, it's really difficult to d go deep uh, into the analysis of where the problem is if, if, a, if a problem like that happens because the production system just ignore the problem because that's the standard response with standard ethernet and when you're dealing with automotive ethernet that's just that's just you know a part of the system so and with our data loggers uh, you get extra capabilities that you can't get in production so th this is the the newest latest greatest data logger this is the newest greatest latest data logger uh, and it is um, it is uh, but the, the main new feature of it that we have now that we didn't have before is as you can see it's in a environmentally sealed enclosure with uh, production uh, environmentally sealed connectors which we, we've had this request for years from some of our customers we've got a uh, a semi truck manufacturer that that's dealing with some new uh, more exotic powertrains, and they want it, they want a lot of data. And they want more uh, data to be collected, and and in that case, they weren't able to use our non environmentally sealed I equipment because they're more in a rough environment. Uh, we have customers that are uh, agricultural equipment 
you know, customers, uh, construction equipment. And so we, we, we've gotten the request over many years of, can you just do everything you're doing now, but just put it in an environmentally sealed enclosure so that we don't have to worry about uh, you know, any problems with, uh, with the environment, put it in the vehicle for a long time, and that's what we've done. And we have that now uh, available for our customers, and it's been successful uh, already. And what were you saying earlier about it being wireless? Uh, of course, uh, the, the data loggers we sell, you can use it locally. We call it local, meaning you can just go to the system and offload the data, either over uh, Ethernet, other means. But of course, the exciting thing is, as we're collecting the data, we can upload the data via cellular, uh, if, it, if you're not in, in a wireless system or, or, or Wi-Fi. And um, we support all of cell, almost globally, all the different types of, uh, you know, whether in your India, Japan, China, uh, North America, we can support the uh, cellular system that's out there. And of course, uh, Wi-Fi is pretty standardized, the same everywhere. And if you have Wi-Fi, we can use that as well. Uh, upload when we when a Wi-Fi hotspot that is recognized comes nearby, you can pre-program those Wi-Fi hotspots to uh, do the um, uh, connect connection when they become available and upload the data when it becomes available. So when the Wi-Fi believe, becomes yeah, available. I, I, so you don't have to wait till the test car comes back to the lab yeah, and download it. You, you, you yeah. got it real time. Yeah, especially uh, the DTCs. You know, every, everyone with the, D, uh, the diagnostic trouble codes or a fault happens, people want to know about it right away, right? Because that way you, you, you can look at, you, you know a fault code happened at a certain time, and then you can go back to the data with our system to, to, to look at really deep, large amounts of data right around where that fault code happened to really hone in on, okay, what really triggered this thing? Uh, so, uh, just giving our engineers the, the ability to solve problems faster—that's that's the idea. And and uh, and you know, it's, it, it it is it is the future for for engineering. That, that should be your tagline: we help you <laughs> solve problems faster. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Real good, Colt. Thanks so much. Really interesting what you guys are doing here. Always and and we got go Lions. Go Lions behind <laughs> you, supporting us all the way. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Absolutely. Man. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>